All right, Chipola Nation, here we are with head coach Jeff Johnson from the national, reigning national champion Chipola baseball team. Thank How you doing, Coach? We're glad to be here, man. man getting fantastic. Ready, getting ready to start another one. Absolutely. And, Coach, we got some news yesterday that you guys are preseason number one in the national uh, national poll. Well, you know, sometimes you got to watch these polls early in the year. <laughs> they, you know, they, thank goodness we were the defending two-time national champion. Right. And, and uh, last year, I think we were ranked number one as well. So I think uh, they do that by whoever won the previous okay. year well. in the uh, in the NJCA uh, place. But we're we're you know it's always an honor to to be thought of as a as a, a good program and a good team. And I think that's what it comes back to. Our program's been good for a while, and and we had a great year last year. You know, we got a lot of young guys this time. Uh -huh. We got five returning five returning players. So I don't think we're probably the number one team in the country right, right, right now. This but, minute. but hopefully, at the end of the year, we can have a chance of being there. Fantastic, that's great. And also, you said we're number six in the perfect game poll. Um, yeah, you know, those guys do a lot of research. Uh, they go out and, and kind of see who's got returning players, and a lot of it's you know traditional as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is as well. But uh, you know, I think a little more research probably probably goes into that right. poll right now to start the season off. The NJCA poll will get more of that as the season progresses. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're starting off uh, this weekend, right, in, in Clearwater? Yeah, we open up this weekend. We play in Clearwater. Uh, it's something we do every year to try to get out of the cool weather. If we have that first that first weekend that's cold, it looks like we might have yeah, made a good decision exactly. this time. Because yeah. I think in Clearwater, I was looking to be lows 55 down there Ooh, which is man, that's on nice. Friday, which is – which is pretty cool for those guys. But we get down there and play some good competition. We open open up against Miami Dade, uh, play South Florida on, on Saturday, and then play State College of Florida on, mm -hmm. on Sunday. So, you know, it'll be really good competition. Uh, a lot of scouts will be down there, a lot of different people down looking at our kids. It'll be a great environment for them to play in, and, and a lot a lot of people see them and, and, and mm -hmm. get a chance to buy And that's Jack Russell Stadium, which was the old Phillies. Yep, yep. Um, we, we'll play at Jack Russell Stadium. I think we play at 5 Eastern on Friday night, then we play at 1 o'clock Saturday, 1 o'clock Sunday at okay. Jack Russell. Wow, exciting trip. All right, and then um, – Coming up the next weekend will be the uh, the big alumni weekend, and we'll actually your baseball team will also be starting their home schedule on um, on Friday, uh, February the first. Yeah, we do, and uh, you know we play Friday, February the first, and we play Walter State, who you know Dave Shelton's a good friend of mine. He's a coach there, and. Uh, we've always said during this weekend, he's come down for a long time, we wanted to play the last game of the year. Right. And last year at the World Series, we played the first, fourth, and the last game of the year. Man. So we were fortunate to, you know, they beat us the first game. We came back and, and won the fourth one to kind of keep us, you know, in contention to win it. And then we ended up winning the national championship game against them. Against so them. they've got a really good club again coming in, got oh. a really good pitch, and he says. And, and uh, you know, you get a chance on Friday and Saturday, Friday, Friday at 1, Saturday at 10, to see the uh, a, re a rematch of last year's national uh -huh. championship That's game, fantastic. so should be should be some really good baseball. Yeah. And then on Sunday we'll play Florida Southwestern twice, starting at eleven o'clock. Okay, it's interesting. We were talking to Coach Jimmy Hendricks yesterday from the softball team, and and they're facing Temple, I think, this weekend, which was which yes. was the, a rematch of the national championship it game. Is. It uh, is. But they came out on the on the other side of that one. So um, man, that is, that is exciting to be able to play Walters again. All right, Coach. Well, um, it's it's time to talk about. The baseball alumni weekend, which is always just a fantastic event for for the fans and for for your former players to come back and and for even uh, players that were here before you, before we were uh, people, some of them. Um, but a fantastic weekend starting February, uh, fr Friday, February first. You know we're excited to get everybody back on campus again, and also corresponding with our homecoming on Saturday night with our basketball uh -huh. game. It should be a huge, huge, huge weekend for us. And, you know, we're going to honor Ellis Dungan, who was a former coach here. And Coach Dungan's a guy I have a lot of respect for. You know, he, he was a little before my time. I, I knew him through my dad a little bit uh -huh. when he coached here, and I was really young. But, uh, you know, he's been a longtime scout, uh, a Chipola guy. He loves Chipola. And we, we've got him talking into coming back. We're going to honor him and also honor our 2018 national championship team and, and everyone else that comes back. And, you know, this alumni weekend, when I first got here, we didn't have a whole lot of notes and rosters and everything of the prior uh -huh. team. So it's kind of started to grow uh, to where we're starting to get a lot of the – the older alumni back, right. uh, and and it's it's kind of crazy how uh, Mike Crawford has taken taken his crew from back in the fifties, and we have about twenty or twenty five of those a year. Uh -huh. And last the last few years, we'll get a group from you know the seventies or the sixties, and it's yeah. starting to grow, and and it's really 
turn it into what I wanted it to be. I That's didn't want correct. it just to be about the teams that I've coached since I've been here. Right. Chipola is Chipola, and, and I want to go back as far as we have had teams and recognize those guys and let them come back and enjoy being back on the campus uh -huh. and, and reliving the moments of, of being here. Yeah, yeah, Fan fantastic. And, and like you said, Mike Crawford's group, um, and I'm Al, Al Cleveland That's from right. Chipley, is in that bunch and they've been back three or four years now and and their their little contingent grows every year so yeah we look and, forward and i think to and i think them. they've got a good group coming back again um you know coach dungan would honor him we got buck show walter uh bucks played for coach dungan uh he taught with me he wanted us to I, i've been trying to get this done for a couple years uh -huh. and and bucks in this time he wanted to do it and and uh we're, we're proud he's gonna come back and kind of be our guest speaker and and, and you know the things he's done throughout his career as a wow. manager manager and everything else. It's just this gonna be a great program for us. Yeah. Show Walter, you know, coach with the Yankees, the Orioles, the Diamondbacks, the Rangers, and and I don't know if you know this, he's the only Chipola alum to ever appear on an episode of Seinfeld. So so that's that's part of his claim to fame. Uh, so we want to talk about the banquet though, which is on Friday, February first at six o'clock out at the armory. Yeah, we'll do that Friday night uh, at 6 after our game. Um, you know, we'll have our banquet. We'll have social hours starting at 6. we got a prime rib dinner. We'll probably start eating around quarter to 7, 7 mm -hmm. o'clock. Then the program will start. You know, we'll recognize all our alumni, former alumni that are there. Uh, Boca do his speech. We'll recognize our, our uh, 2018 national championship team. Uh, have our program there. Don't want to go too long with that. And yeah. Everybody get bored. Right. Uh, and after that, we got a uh, – we got a band that's going to be playing. Fantastic, and, uh, and they're called Hayward. Hay they're they're from Mariana, and uh, if you if you haven't heard them, they're a fantastic yeah. band. And uh, have them playing, and you know, it's be a great night for us all to get back and reminisce, and you know, all my former players tell some lies about how tough we yeah. were back in the day and exactly. all that. But right. it, it's always great to get a chance to see everyone and and reconnect with one another, and you know, whether it's what business they're running, if they're still playing, whatever it is, it's always great to see right. them right. and get them back. And uh, yeah, we we have got so many, um, you know, players that went on and and made a career out of baseball. But, but even more important, we've got so many players who have gone on to be successful in business and in non-athletic careers and, and who have families and, and you know, just they're, they're just shining examples of what, what going to Chipola yeah, there, there's, for you. There's no doubt. Sometime in our banquet, and I try to say this at our banquet, but sometime in our banquet, the, pro, the professional big league players seem to get the spotlight. That's natural. They're the yeah. guys that bring, the, you know, bring a lot of the people in that want to come and come right. to the banquets and come to the home run derbies and all that. But you look back and, and you're so proud of you got the Alan Horns who's running the insurance company you know, up in, up in I think, Chattanooga. Uh -huh. and you got Nathan Marks running one of the largest insurance companies over in Tallahassee. Grant Conyers with his floor, wood flooring company. Uh -huh. uh, Greg Albritton, he's running his electrical company. I mean, there's a there's just tons of them. You hate to just put names out because you leave people out. But, right. but just people that are being very, very, very successful in their businesses mm -hmm. and, and the foundation they learn through the athletics and through everything else of, you know, work, hard work, commitment, trust, all those things have, have come out to help them in their businesses yeah. as well. Absolutely. So we're looking forward to that that banquet again it's a hundred dollars a ticket there's sponsorships available if you'd like to sponsor sponsor a table for uh, a thousand bucks and and for that you'll get home run derby passes for the next day which is saturday february 2nd so let's talk about about what's going to happen on saturday february 2nd of alumni weekend you know we'll play like i said at 10 as soon as that game's over we'll start our home run derby um you know, I know Jose Bautista is coming back. Jeff Mathis is coming back. We're still trying to see about Tyler Flowers and some other guys. But, you know, we got a great contingent of minor league players as well. You know, Isaiah Gilliam's a guy who's won the home run derby. Ronaldo Rivera in the last few years. Ronaldo won it last year. And, you know, there'll be a great group of guys who can swing those bats and put on the show yeah, out and there. It, oh, so, man, it is, so it is so that, much you know, fun. Hopefully it's a good deal. Hopefully the weather's good. Maybe the wind's blowing out and all that good stuff. So right. it makes it a little more fun. Exactly. Now, who's your point man on all this? Uh, we got a new coach, Jeremy Carroll. Yeah, Jeremy was with us last year, and he and he's still here with us now. And and uh, you can call his number. I don't have his number on me. Yeah, I don't, exactly, I don't have it either. Called him. Called a main office here five two six two south two two seven six one and ask for Jeremy Carroll, and we can get the, get through there or stop by the baseball office okay. and get you tickets. If you wanna, if you want to come to the banquet, you can get tickets at the door as well. Okay. On Friday. And night. um and all this stuff is on the ChipolaAthletics.com yes, website, the and there's a, there's a link to that on on Chipola.edu. So um, we invite everybody to come out and and meet the former players, uh, celebrate 
the 2018 national champions and, and see what the 2019 team is all about. No, so no a, doubt. Lot, a lot of great opportunities. No doubt. Should be some great baseball that whole weekend. Florida Southwestern will be playing Walter State when we're not playing this in those days as well. So right. it'll be baseball all day. And, and then on Saturday should be a great day with that and the basketball. Right. The basketball that night as well. Yeah, and so we'll we'll finish with the baseball and then move right into our, you know, our biggest game of the year, the, the, uh, the basketball homecoming game. And we usually have to lock the doors. I mean, there'll be you know more than two thousand people there uh, to to celebrate homecoming. And we're playing Gulf Coast, which is our longtime arch rival, and uh, and that's always going to be a, a fantastic game. And we want to lock the doors again. So come we on, do, come we do, we do. We want to turn them away. That's right. All right, Coach. Well, we uh, we appreciate all you do for Chipola Athletics and for what you've done for baseball. Two-time defending national champions. You've set the bar pretty high. But I, I think we can live up to it, and uh, we wish you good luck this year. We'll see what happens, man. We'll right. go to work this weekend. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.